is it just me? It, maybe it is just me, but does anyone else feel like no matter how much they enjoy a hobby and have fun with it, there's still some aspects of it that just maybe aren't as fun or you don't look forward to as much? And I was just kind of thinking about this last night and figured, well, why don't we talk about it and I'll... And I'm going to open up some stuff while we talk about it. Uh, I've been a little bit busier this week, so I haven't gotten to a lot of the projects that are more long-term videos I've been working on. Um, so, doing a discussion video today and kind of relax and have a chat while we do. So what got me thinking about this is the fact that there's always kind of managerial things you have to do with hobbies to kind of keep things ready for use and that's not necessarily always the most fun thing. Things like when you get home from a game after a, a day of nerfing and you are tired and sore and you want to just kind of relax but you got lipo batteries for your flywheelers that you should probably storage charge because if you forget you won't do it for months which is what's happened to me and I now have uh, concerningly puffy lipos that I need to find a safe way to dispose of, um, but I'm not really going out because, you know, COVID. So things like that can just feel like a, a drag and just kind of be t tedious and tiresome when you're already tired after a day of nerfing. Now, the logical thing to do would be to make a reminder to do it the next day so you can get it done and, and still relax when you get home especially if you have like a long drive to get back to your place or something like that um, also this is an order from uh, out of darts i wanted to try the new curved banana talon mags I'm not necessarily a fan of the idea but i i want to try it give it a fair shake uh, and then of course for the good good from uh from out of darts, we've got a, a proud papa and some attachments. I assume this is the proud papa in this one. Yes, yes it is. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. This is barring something going terribly wrong with this. This will be showing up in a future uh, four under forty video. Does this lock into place? Or is it just friction? Oh, it does lock into place. Very nice. There it is. Okay. So this is Rival. And... That was much more aggressive than I anticipated. Okay. Um, that's going to be fun. That's going to be very fun. Alright. So beyond just the nerve hobby and things that you need to do in terms of things that may not be the most fun. Like recently as well, I was transferring paint from paint pots to dipper bottles so they don't dry out and become a waste of money faster. And I had to use this little tiny, teeny funnel. It took like an hour to get just one paint pot into this with like thinner and mixing and like making sure the air could pass through the funnel. It, it just, it was, uh, it was tedious. I didn't like it. And I've got like a ton more to do. This whole drawer that you can't see because it's just out of frame has paint in it. And that's not fun. But the reality is that these necessarily unfun parts of our hobby lead to the fun parts. So how is it that I can perceive these things as not necessarily an unfun necessary task, but something that allows me to have fun. Uh, and maybe that, that will let me kind of be more hyped up about what it will lead to instead of just like, oh, I have to do this. Oh, this is going to be such a drain. And I'm aware that, oh, Oh, well, this is interesting. Okay. Um, this is a lot. This is from Pandemonium, who in uh, the Discord server posted he had, he had been working on something and, and put my logo on. Ugh. Some mag extenders for Talon mags he had been working on. And uh, 
And he's like, can I send you one? And I was like, well, that'd be awesome. This is four of them. So uh, unexpected and these look awesome. All right, so these have like base plates that I think you can remove. I don't want to break this, so I'll probably message him. But I think I think you just remove the bottom piece and you just drop it on like that, and it gives you an extra three or four shots. Kind of sim similar to the other ones we we've seen. Uh, these are personalized, so I'll probably use these for a while because that's just that's awesome. Uh, Panda, thank you. This is you know, pff, way too cool. I love it. The filament's even like glossy. What the? Okay, that's just cool. Plain and simple. Uh, looking forward to using these. Uh, thank you. And I think some tasks can be easier to perceive as beneficial or more fun. Like if you're tuning a blaster or doing some maintenance, like it may not be fun in and of itself, but it's pretty easy to be like, this is gonna make my blaster better. This is gonna be more fun to use. This is gonna be really cool what I can get out on the field. So that's, you know, relatively easy to uh, change your, your mindset on it or, or be not necessarily excited, but cool to, to do the thing you need to do to make it, uh, uh, to do that blaster maintenance or, or whatever you need to do. So it's more the tasks that like, you just really don't like doing. What can be done to, to change the mindset on those? That's kind of where I'm at, the thought I was having last night, because when I thought about doing like 40 plus paint pot transfers to dripper bottles, I was just like, oh, I don't want to do that. That's like a full work week of hours if it all goes as slow as the first one. So this is, this is what has bred this discussion. Um, but what I'm trying to look at it is, it's gonna save me money in the long run uh, because paint pots dry out super fast and I don't want that to happen. So if I take care of them and move them to drippers, then I'm saving myself money and making things easier to do in the future. Uh, I've got some Warhammer models. Uh, I think these are my fulminators for my Age of Sigmar army. Um, and then I think this last package is some uh, Celestines on Dracolines for the same army that I'll be looking forward to painting. Oh, these are still in box. All right, well, that's cool. Box is a bit banged up, but I don't care. They're not gonna stay in the box, so cool. Didn't expect that. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much my, my topic of the day or my kind of ADHD train of thought on things the last 24 hours is just that finding ways to reframe the menial or unfun parts of a hobby can really help. Uh, so what is the most enjoyable aspect of a hobby that you're participating in. That's kind of the thing I want to focus on. What is that? And you take that, and I think we try to find the way to link that to the task you don't like, or the portion of something you don't like. You know, if it's maintenance or, or you know, uh, in the case of transferring paint, the, the tedium, you know, just find that correlation in how the task you don't like, or or maybe it just isn't necessarily the most exciting or fun, how does that enable the really fun part that you love? And I think making that connection could possibly help, especially, you know, during quarantine when it's really harder to get motivated to do anything. I think that's part of what spurred this, this conversation topic on as well, because I have... Um, I have batteries that I am concerned. You know what? I'm going to check right now. I charged these batteries to do drills like months ago and then I never did. And I'm kind of scared. Uh, okay. Okay. This one's okay. This one still feels okay. All right. That's good. That's like for my rapid strike strife. Uh, and then other one. It's like this. I need to put these in storage 
mode. Uh, and that's something that, okay, this is a little, but not bad. It's a little bit of give to it, but I'll just be careful monitoring when I, when I do that one. But yeah, just, it's super easy right now, especially to find a lack of motivation for these things. And because they are not like the pinnacle of whatever hobby you're participating in, it's easy to kind of just, nah, I'll do it later. I'll... I don't wanna, it's not, I don't feel like it, um, but they're beneficial. They're important things for your hobby. So again, maybe this is just me. Maybe all of you actually love every aspect of the hobbies you partake in. Um, and I'm just chalking like a strange person. That was a weird statement, but if that's the case, then that's the case, and this video only makes sense to me, but if anyone out there does feel that way about certain aspects of their hobbies, let me know down below what are the things that you have a hard time finding motivation to do or get started, because sometimes it's just getting started is the hardest thing to do, and once you do, you're kind of like, yeah, okay, isn't too bad. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's whatever. So let me know down below. Love to hear it. Now I'm going to get back to working on some other projects like this under this towel that you will hopefully see sometime this month, and a few other things that I'm looking forward to sharing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. I can't slide out because I made a mess.